Welcome to Megazook's tutorial number two. This tutorial is going to cover where to download Megazooks, how to set it up and run it for the first time, how to get into the editor, and also it's going to highlight a few um, interesting games that you will probably want to check out, including a tutorial game that um, allows you to check out uh, all of the built-in features of Megazook. So you're going to want to start off by going to the Digital Megazooks website. It is digitalmzx.net and that will bring you here. Um, to get Megazooks you want to download one of these versions here. Uh, if you have Windows 32-bit and 64-bit systems, you would want these options. MS-DOS is the classic version of Megazooks. This is uh, Apple and then um, Linux, uh, Ubuntu, I think that's how you say it. So I have 64-bit Windows, so I'm going to download this version. And you're going to come down here and click this download button. And I'm going to choose to save it to the desktop. And it only takes a second to download because it's a very small file. Once you have it downloaded, You'll need to unzip it. And I'm going to extract it to a folder on the desktop. Now we have the Megazooks folder. There's nothing to install once you uh, unzip it. It's ready to run. Alright, now we're going to download a couple of pack-in games to go along with the program. So I would suggest using this browser over here to find your games. Um, we're going to download the tutorial game and also Caverns, which used to be the base pack-in game that came with Megazooks when it was a, a newer program. So I'm going to go to the T section and look for the tutorial. That tutorial is actually not in the T section like I thought it was. It is in the M section. So if you click on M, you will go to the M section. Here's the Megazooks tutorial. And it's a very basic game. It just sh has different boards that show you each of the, di the different aspects of the pack-in um, objects you can use in Megazooks. So we'll download that. And I'm going to save it in the Megazooks folder on the desktop. And I'll show you why in a minute. Save it as tutorial zip. Now I'm going to go back and download Caverns, and it's not under C, it's actually under Z because it's part of the Zooks series. There's actually, um, let's see, there's actually five games in the Zooks series, and Caverns is number two. If you play Caverns and you enjoy it, I would suggest playing uh, the next three games in the series because they're all um, equally interesting. By the way, you can uh, look at uh, the rating for the game here, and then um, basically these are user reviews, and um, most games are do get a review eventually by somebody. Um, people in the Megazooks community like to play games and review them, so it's a good way to find out uh, if a game is worth playing or not. If it's four or five stars, even three stars, it's probably worth playing. So I'm going to download Caverns now. 
There we go. Caverns. Yep. All right. Let's unzip tutorial. And it's just one file. You can see, very small, 19 kilobytes. And I'm going to leave it in the uh, Megazooks folder in its own folder called Tutorial. And I'm going to do the same with Caverns. And you can see there's a few um, more files here. The game file itself and then some music files that go along with the game. And I'm going to leave it in its own folder in the Megazooks file, in the Megazooks folder. And I don't need the zips anymore. Okay, the um, the reason I'm leaving them in their own folders, and I would suggest that you do the same, is that um, a lot of times there are different files associated with the games that go along with them. Like in the case of Caverns, there's these music files. There can be a lot of files, um, in some cases thousands, with uh, newer games. So it's a good idea to keep all of those files together. And the other reason you don't want to mix up the um, files for the files for different games is that sometimes they can have the same name. So you might actually overwrite a, another file that goes to a different game that has the same name if you download a newer game. And then the older game won't work properly if you go to use it. There could be um, similar... Uh, character set files, that sort of thing. So it's always a good idea to leave all of these games in their own um, folders in your Megazooks folder. And in fact, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to put all of the games into a game folder so I can keep them separate from uh, everything else. So I'm going to move that and that into the game folder. And um, another thing I do, because I'm super anal retentive, is I, um, I have a separate folder that I keep for new games. So I can keep track of games I haven't played yet that I recently downloaded. Because there's a lot of games to try out. So if I download a new game, I put it in the new game folder. And then I can unzip it there and try it there. And if I like it, then I move it into the game folder. If I don't like it, I just delete it.